Hey guys, it's Redemption 9 and welcome back to GTA 5. Last episode we did some bio biological warfare and stole a extremely powerful biological weapon which if it fell into the wrong hands, like Trevor, then we could see the whole of Los Santos be destroyed. Uh, so yeah, today we're going to do this Trevor mission, see what it's about and see what we get out of it because we've had a bit of a bad luck, we haven't been getting anything from... Uh, a couple of missions now. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, go. Damn it, I crashed straight away. So much for being a good driver. I miss you already. Floyd? 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 What the effort are you doing here? That's a funny way to greet your cousin. You ain't my G damn cousin, Trevor. I thought we was family. But please just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the is that no one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance, did you catch crabs at that conference? <laughs> I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? Guy, come in. Huh? I'd like you to leave mm. right now. Oh yeah. You must Some be Deborah. Serious corporate gang banging going on, right? Yeah, with every executive and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center in the name of team training, right? I mean, now that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my, uh, my penis. I want you to leave now! Look, this is all I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not nice to me, okay? And look, Deborah, I love you and I love you too, Floyd. Why can't we all just be together, huh? You can have Mondays through Thursdays. You can have the weekends, all right? I know that's not normal, but in this crazy, crazy world, is normal so good, huh? Look, Deborah, Floyd, will you marry me? Get out of my condo! And you go too, Floyd. I told you, I've got a career. I don't need this, this, this crap. Yes! There. <laughs> you made me swear. You're crap, Floyd. Crap! <laughs> You're not a man at all. <laughs> Bob's right about you. Oh, who's Bob? I want both of you to go now. You and your weird friend. Whoa! Hey! My name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck what your fucking name is! I'm not afraid to use this. I'm not. Bob Whoa. taught me. Fuck Bob! You people are not very fucking nice. Yeah, you're not very nice. Oh, shit. Oh, dear. Oh, hey there, Trevor. <laughs> Mm, hey there, Wade. Did you meet Gebra? Interesting lady. Yeah. I should probably go say hi. I wouldn't. Why not? Let's go get in the car. All right? Let's go have the time of our lives. Oh my god. Oops. I know just the place. Uh, they tripped and fell on the knife. And broke their necks and shot I themselves, I suppose. I and Deborah. I know she seems kind of uptight, but she can have fun. Mm, no. I don't think she can, Wade. You Just Floyd, then? Floyd's gonna meet us there. Boy's trip? Exactly. Oh, Trevor, what have you got all over yourself? You're all red. You got, you got syrup? Yeah. Syrup. Accidents. We've all been there. We sure have, but, but it don't taste like syrup. Don't taste me, all right? Just no licking. Okay. Hey, you remember when we met? Sure. Last year. I was on the way to the gathering with Daisy Bell and Kush Chronic and... And you stopped in Sandy Shores to get lit and you met a dealer and he looked after you when your friends had abandoned you. That was weird, weren't it? The last time I saw them, it was with you, driving out to the quarry, and then they just disappeared. Poof, right? I mean, they were gone. Some friends, right? 
And now Cousin Deborah don't want you around? I mean, there's a pattern here. The Congo did get messy. The pattern is you can't rely on anyone. Anyone except me. Here we are. What do you think? Save cars by parking in the bays. So, this is where Floyd is going to meet us at strip club? Oh, yeah. That guy doesn't like him. He's a real homebody. He loves that apartment. Interestingly, you and me, we got a new home. Where? <laughs> here. Right here. Here? Mm, here. Now, I know it's unconventional, but that's the way we roll, homie. Hey, you two. You two, I want you to give this boy a good time for a long time. Hey, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Tell me where the manager is for this fine establishment. Through there and take two doors to the right. Mm -hmm. Through there. To the right. Thank you. No one's noticed the blood. No one's commented on it except Wade, who's a bit slow. Amigo! Prepare to meet your new partner. Another accident incoming. Oh look, we're home. We're at Michael's house for the first time in ages. Hey Lester. Hey, uh, Trevor just called about the, um, the big one, the, the UD. You know anything? Yeah, I told him we could hit it. You down? Of course I'm down. Look, I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's taken over the Vanilla Unicorn Gentleman's Club. Alright, message Franklin. Look at this place, it's a shithole. Wow, that was a pretty quick mission. That's only three minutes. Wow. What's this? It's green stuff. Is it drinkable? No. Hmm. Right, so we have another Trevor mission, so being this was seven minutes long, we'll just go there now. Oh look my car. When did this come back? Uh I have no idea. Right. Why is it always miles away? What's this? Ah, that's a Trevor thing. Damn it, Trevor. Excuse me, can I um, borrow your car? I'm gonna be using your car. Thank you. What is this shit? This shit, Michael, is a comet. It's a fast car. Even though it's not the fastest, it's still a fast car. With a spoiler. Because, you know. Spoilers make the cars go way faster. Well, how far away are we? 0 0.7 miles. Go down here. Do I have to I have to go up here, okay. Whoa. Shit. That was your fault. Dickwad. What do I go down here? Yes I do. Nice, nice interior of the strip club. What the fuck? Ah, oh, damn it. Of course, it's bound to be locked. Hey, Trevor, you like my new car? Mr. DeSantis. You don't know my name. I've never been here before. What are you talking about? Come on, baby. The girls on my block call me Tripod. What cousin Floyd says strip clubs objectify women, but you ain't objects. You're people. Hmm. Right. So through here, through here. He's been here for a long time, like seven minutes. He's been here for seven minutes, and he's already taken over. Yo. Hey, before you ask, 
The fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Meriwether, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. <laughs> so how'd you come by this place anyway? Had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. Yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago, in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there were other guys, though, too. So, uh... Anyway, we uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But, but it'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. Wow. Typical Trevor. I'm being timed on this, apparently. Alright, we're on a strict schedule. And there's a couple of armored cars on a dry run to the depository. Intel suggests they'll be going down Innocence Boulevard in East LS at approximately 15.30. And Trevor and I need to map their route for a possible hijack point. So, we're going to his airfield in Blaine County and coming back in his chopper to intercept. Michael Franklin, all you gotta do is take the temperature at the bank, see if there's anything that stands out. Hey, we are uh, taking the temperature. Yeah, you know, getting a feel for it. Security, exit routes, general vibe. Alright. Come on, move. Is this it? Yeah, yeah, it is. Awesome. That doesn't look like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas, clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground as hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we got to stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. Oh, I don't want to go to Trevor. Trevor's going into Sandy Shores. It's miles away. Do I do this? Shit. I picked up a few things rolling with you. I mean, there's times I think I gotta be the senior partner in the group. From the way you and Trevor behave. Ah, sorry. There's history there. Yeah, it still ain't fully been explained to me though. No? Well, remind me to go over with you again sometime. But not now. Do I go in the right way? Look, dog. Why the Maybe not. Man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserves? Yeah, huh? Maybe we really are broke. Trevor, how are you doing? No. Oh my god. Uh, well, uh, I like clockwork, Mikey. Well, you I got like this clockwork. far. So not too far to go. A mile. Awesome. But we can cut a lot of that out you by a, uh, job going off road. You know? I can help you with. I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's gonna be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Bustin' Brad out of the clink. How do you talk to Mike about it? Oh, fine. Shit. I was gonna pay you, man. When there ain't an obvious profit in something, you're a hard guy to motivate. Yeah, Lester is always in it for the money. What's this teddy bear doing on the front of my car? Right, getting a helicopter. What the hell is this? How's that? Oh my god, Trevor. 
Seriously, you did that? You're oh the my one god. Who keeps talking about the schedule, Lest. Come on. My observations fit with your scheme. So far, yeah. The, the security's internal rather than external. Fly to Marriott Weta Heights. Okay. Prison. Be careful not to get too close to the prison. We'll trip an alarm. Too late. Hmm. Just went 13.30. We got two hours before we need to be in Marietta Heights. No, it's 13.45, Lester. Quiet enough. 15 minutes Any late. disturbance is going to get picked up immediately. What those two don't know is there's a special team of cops on standby 24-7 waiting on a signal from the UD. Won't go out on any other call. And it's never been hit. Man, those guys must get bored. They may be cops, but they work for the government. There's nothing government workers love more than to accept tax dollars for doing nothing. Oh, yeah, that and spying on innocent people. Hmm, getting paid to do nothing and spying on innocent people. Now, who does that remind me of? Anyway, if we want to hit the vault in a way that people will notice, the key will be to divert the security team. Divert it? You said they hold out for calls from the UD and that's it. They do, so we'd have to hit it twice, once to distract them, and once to get it done. You're gonna find someone willing to get caught hitting a super bank just as a distraction. Come in, Michael! We have a visual on the convoy! Keep with them, T. Do whatever Les needs you to do. We need to stay with them and find a place to ambush! What kind of ambush spot are we looking for? I tend to wait in the jaw and catch them with their drawers down, but... I guess that won't work here. No, it, uh, won't. We're looking for somewhere with cover for us and no escape routes for them. Ah, the same principle as a men's room. Yeah, uh, I guess. <laughs> uh, uh, pull back. What happens if a spook them? Do they just go or do they just run away? I suppose it would fail the mission for doing it, but don't know. Not gonna try it either. Right, where are what they about going? Here for the job? Where? Under one of the bridges. It's on route and we'll have plenty of cover. It's too open. There's a number of get outs and we'd be compromised if they were driven off the road into the river. We could recover the cars. With the right equipment, we'd haul them up the side. A central station is monitoring the car's positions. If the GPS tracker reads it's down there in the channel, we'll have red flags all over the place. Fine! Oh my god, come on. No, I will not fail this one. Pull back, ain't that far enough? What you thinking? I'm thinking I don't like being in close proximity to you for extended periods of time, and the same for short periods of time. Oh, is that a buzzard? Oh, it is, it's a buzzard. I just hide in this tree. You know, nothing suspicious about a tree with uh, helicopter blades, you know. Legit. But where are they going? Peekaboo. Oh, can they fit under there? Oh, I want to do it, I want to do it. Did it. Oh my god, that was amazing. I went under a tunnel. Well, in through a tunnel. I'm picking up the cars. Right on time. Hey, it, uh, it looks like we're going to need some IDs to get in the building this way. I'm assuming that's doable, Les. IDs I can handle. Onion 86 in sight. Stand by. Hey, I was expecting you 30 seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Wow, 30 seconds. That's a long time. Onion 86 in the building. Look at that fog in there. Now, if I remember from planning the tool store job, they're 
excavating the new LS Metro Tunnel around here. And take us around the building and find the construction site. Roger that! Looking for a big asshole! Found it. Yep, Michael. It'll take ages to fly back to the airfield. Take Franklin to his house, okay. Hey, Trev. Uh, hey, so how you feeling about this? Feeling pretty good. We got Lester planning it. He'll get us options. There's you, a guy I know I can depend on. And then there's Trevor. Ah, yeah, Trevor will get it done. Will he? I hope so, man. I hope he holds it together. Hey, you ain't done too good of a job at that yourself, you feel me? Yeah, well, I ain't pissed off hillbillies. Bikers, a Mexican gang, some Chinese gangsters, and a private army, okay? So there's that. Yeah, but you just pissed off the FIB and the IAA. And your family, man. You know what, I met Amanda and I know who scares me the most. <laughs> point taken. So you gonna tell me about this Brad dude and the deal with the FIB? What happened in North Yankton back in the day anyway? This ain't the time. Man, we're about to go in together on the biggest job ever being pulled. There ain't ever gonna be a better time to fill me in on this shit. It's complicated, all right? Fuck it, I'm gonna ask Trevor. Don't ask Trevor. Shit, man, you sound shady, dawg. Real shady. We'll talk. All right, holla at him. Hey, when he's got something, Lester will be in touch. Is that it? Are we done? I think we're done. Yes, we're done. Perfect distance. Under the bridge. Tunnel flight. Ah, oh, if only it got that perfect distance, that would have been 100%. Ah, oh, I could always go back and redo it. Yeah. I think I might. Uh, let's just park here. Uh, so anyway, that's it for this episode, guys. Next episode, we'll do that Michael mission, see what that's about, see where we have to go, and see if we actually get our family back, well, Michael's family back. Uh, so yeah, that's it for this episode, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.